Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, Deanna Burgeck. B.S. A slight little change in the name. If you missed the anniversary video, go back and watch that. Uh, and today it's Sunday, so we're doing some more football Sunday. Uh, we're opening up this more more packs from this hobby box of UD Patch Collection on the 2003 NFL UD Patch Collection. Um, if you missed the previous ones, head on up there, check those out. Where you're at, head on down, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the thumbs up, like the video, hit that share button, share this with everyone you know. Then uh, head over to the comments and say hi. Uh, tell me who your favorite football team is, who you're rooting for this weekend, uh, or whatever else is going on. Then check out the links in the description for my blog, podcast, other social media, and also my eBay. Uh, go buy some stuff. There's some good stuff available. It's... Uh, it's, um, uh, what am I trying to say? I got them best offer, so make some offers and, uh, you know, yeah. So, uh, buy some stuff. All right. Um, so we got two more stacks. We're going to do another stack today and we get this stack next week. And there's also next week, come back, we'll open up this, uh, jumbo patch thing that I was a box topper, uh, didn't get around. I'm, I'm saving it for the end. Um, but before we get, or go any further, I was a little bit, concerned because i hadn't seen any regular short prints yet uh at least i hadn't noticed them uh but then i went back and double checked so if you noticed in my last video i kind of got distracted i was like dallas clark but then i'm like ah, oh, no it's just a regular card but i was like hey, i thought he was a rookie well my friends he is and it, i was distracted for a good reason because he is and this was a short print um regular uh, a rookie short print you can see it the number 120 anything above 90 is a short print, but the ones that, like, the patch ones are like a, I don't know, a, a, above a number, another number, I forget what the number is, is part of the patch cards, but there are rookies, regular just rookies, uh, so these two, Donald Lee and Dallas Clark, were both tight ends, ran, randomly, but also uh, rookie cards and um, short prints, so, yeah, the Dallas Clark, I was like, wait, Dallas Clark, no, wait, maybe not, uh, 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 uh. yeah, all right, whatever. All right, let's go. Uh, let's open up um, more packs. Uh, hopefully, you're getting excited for today for some football. It is the last Sunday of the season, so um, battling for the playoff spots and seating and everything. Uh, hopefully, it's a good one. Um, I'm recording this way ahead of time, so I don't know what's going on. Specifically, I just know when this goes up, that's what's going to be going on. Get ready for the playoffs coming up next week. Uh, Heinz Ward starting things off. Kevin Curtis, we do have another... Um, uh, patch card. It's an all upper deck Jeremy Shockey. I think this is a insert. Yeah, I think all upper deck is an insert. So Jeremy Shockey, uh, of course, he played with the uh, Giants. Um, and then he went on to, I think he played for the Saints for a little bit. Maybe a couple other teams. I don't remember. Jeremy Shockey. There is Donovan McNabb, Trent Green, Corey Dillon running up things in that pack. Um, all right, let's keep going. We got Chad Pennington, Mark Bolger, Ricky Williams, uh, Spacer, Drew Brees, and Zach Thomas rounding things out for that pack. Next pack. If I can open it. <clears throat> we got Jeff Garcia. Tory Holt. Spacer. Josh McCown. Kerry Collins. And Tommy Maddox. The XFL MVP. The one and only Finnish season MVP. I mean, I don't know who would have won MVP for the, like, the... The aborted season they had last year, or two years ago at this point. <sighs> Time's weird. But um, I think, oh, who was that quarterback? There was one quarterback that was doing really well. Actually, he's in the NFL now, and I'm blanking on what team he's on. Uh, but he's got like a, a name of like someone else. And now it's, it's going to drive me nuts now. Amon Green, Aaron Brooks, Brian Arlecker. Uh, Spacer, Tim Couch, Antonio Bryant. Oh, who, what's his name? Oh, come on. 
He's like name is very similar or like the same as like some a famous person or something. Ah, it's gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm looking it up after the, after I don't want to delay you. you if you want to stick around to figure out if I can figure out who this XFL former XFL now NFL quarterback that was doing well before the season got stopped was you can stick around but um I don't know is the XFL coming back next year I think the rock bought it from Vince McMahon which is just bizarre when you say that like that but the rock bought the XFL from Vince McMahon and is going to restart it again um next year I think all right, we got T.O., Terrell Owens. Um, we got another patch card. Wait, are we almost all just get three? Dominic Davis. We got another rookie innovations. Justin Vargas. Another patch card. Okay. Fred Taylor, Emmett Smith. Oh, that just, that still looks weird. I mean, and what's going on with the helmets not having logos? This must, it must be a bad photo photoshop job or something that's just weird that there's no photo i don't know that's weird but Emmett smith on the cardinals is weird in general garrison hurst round things out there so yeah we got another patch card so that's our oh, that's our three no we got four what did what so we previously gotten these two we just got this one and then we got this one so now we have four that doesn't include the box topper which i didn't think was included in the in the count but we're only supposed to get three so we're beating the average on average we're beating it we're doing good. All right. So now, before you go, I mean, yes, yeah, subscribe, like, share, um, notifications, notification bell, um, new videos every day. Uh, come back every day. Come back next week. We'll finish off the pack and we'll do that um, box topper as well. But for you, those that are wondering, if you if you probably figure it out for yourself, you're probably yelling at your at your computer screen, being like, "Hey, it's that guy. It's that guy." XFL quarterback. In NFL. PJ Walker, that's who it is. PJ Walker, of course, uh, uh, Aldo Montoya, uh, just incredible. His name's PJ Walker. He was he went by PJ Walker at one point. I forget what his actual name is. I think it's PJ something or other. But he went by PJ Walker when he was like a jobber back in the uh, er early 90s in WWE before he became Aldo Montoya. Uh, but PJ Walker, I always remember that. Yeah, PJ, I mean, I always remember him as that. I always remember this because clearly I forgot it. But PJ Walker was doing really well as an XFL before it got shut down. And he signed with the Panthers, I guess. Or maybe? Yeah, Panthers, I think. I don't know. Either way. Um, or he was on the Panthers. I think he's still in the, no, maybe he's not on the Panthers anymore. I don't know. PJ Walker. Yeah, he's on... Is he on the Panthers? Yeah, he's on the Panthers. He's on the Panthers. Okay, so there we go. Whatever. I don't know. Uh, I remember he started again. Yeah, because he had started a game because they had so many injuries. I mean, they obviously brought back Cam Newton, but they had Sam Darnold got hurt, and then they had someone else, I think, got hurt. And then I think he might have gotten hurt, too. I don't even remember. And then Cam Newton. So, yay, Cam Newton's back. Yay. All right. Um, I'm babbling way too much. Uh, that's enough of your time and my time that I've taken up. So thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe. Have fun. Talk to you next time.